Anna, hello, hi, thank you all as you are joining. We are just going to give it a few more seconds while you join and then we can introduce ourselves. Let us know in the chat where you're joining from, if yeah. you're having a good Wednesday evening and what you're getting up to. And let us know, everyone, you can hear us okay, you can see us okay. And then we'll yeah. get started in a few moments. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Hope you're all doing great. We'll just give it a few more moments before we get started. Amazing. Oh, all the way from Canada. Hi, Nelson. Oh, that's Jaren, actually. You're from Nelson, Canada. Hi, Linda. Oh, wow. Hi, Karen. France, Poland. All from around the world. Oh amazing. my God, amazing, amazing. So hi, everybody. Thank you all for joining. We are so excited to be with you this lovely Wednesday evening. Um, we're joining from London. I'm Kelechi. I'm the lead global pro artist for Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm joined by my amazing, amazing gorgeous super talented colleague Grace who is also a pro artist for Charlotte Tilbury I know you guys were in store for the amazing Sophia Tilbury but unfortunately she couldn't be here with us tonight but we're still going to have an amazing event still gonna have gonna it. You, right we're still going to teach you all amazing great tips and tricks so please do stay along ask any comments and just interact with us as much as you can and we're going to have a blast for the next hour Grace yeah. Thank you for being here. How are you? Very welcome. I'm so sorry it's not Sophia, but I'll do my best. I mean, you are stunning, aren't you? Just <laughs> I'll gorgeous. Do my best. I'm coming from <laughs> rainy Manchester, so it's not as glam as where she is. But uh, I'm so excited because the, the look I'm recreating is one of my favorite looks at the minute. So I'm I'm ha super happy. Oh my god, amazing! So guys, we're just fresh off of award season. We've just come back from the Oscars, and very soon we're actually headed into the Met. So we just kind of, you know, wanted to take our time, this masterclass, and just really share with you gorgeous, almost every day, not only award-ready, but just beautiful, easy, wearable makeup. So I'm going to be recreating Michaela J's look from the Oscars. And Grace, what look are you going to be recreating? I'm going to be creating the Lily James makeup from the Oscars as well. That was created by Hung Van Girl. So I'm so excited because it's just yeah. such a beautiful look that you can wear... Kind of going out or just kind of going for dinner it's a really versatile yeah okay cool great should we get started let's, let's get do it. right into i need it. to get some skincare on my face <laughs> <laughs> so guys first of all charlotte's always a huge fan of skin prep she always says you cannot have a beautiful painting without a beautiful canvas so going in straight away, we're going to be starting with the Glow Toner. And this is something that just kind of, you know, rejuvenates your skin, awakens your skin, and just allows all of your other skincare to kind of sit onto your skin well. So I'm just going to take a few drops of this. And what I love about this Glow Toner, and I don't know about you, is the fact that I don't even need to use it on a cotton pad. I can literally just no. work this into my skin so easily and so beautifully. So I'm just taking a few drops on my palm and then I'm literally just going to press this into my skin. You can see that like on me because I'm super dry and dehydrated and you can see it instantly just revive my skin and give it that glow that I need. But for me, I just couldn't believe how quick the results shown of the evening my skin tone over the few Oh my weeks. God, yes, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's literally like I put this on morning and evening. This is like one of... It's just fast becoming like my favorite skincare item. Even if I've got the moisturizer, I'm just like, just this after I've cleansed my skin in the evening. It's just so beautiful. And like you said, it just leaves your skin instantly hydrated. Uh, makeup as well, because it really helps with any texture, because I get quite a lot of texture around the center of my face. Yeah. So my makeup stays on longer and all my other skincare products work better as well, I find. Now I've got yeah. this in my life. Yeah. So now we're going to move on to a bit of eye cream. So I'm going on with the cryo eye cream. Grace, are you using the same thing? 
Yes, I am. Wait, this Love. is the gorgeous eye serum, guys. It's a uh, ice awake eye serum. It's so beautiful. It's got like this gorgeous texture that just kind of glides over your eyes and over there. And you just want to work this onto the orbital bone. And it's just so amazing. Charlotte always says it's like an alarm clock for your eyes. You literally put it on <laughs> and in an instant, your eyes are like. <laughs> just think how coffee makes you feel in the morning. Right. That, that seems, doesn't it? And sometimes if I've had a really good weekend, I like to, which uh, isn't happening at the minute, I like to put mine in the fridge. And just oh my like, God. Yes, that's what I always do. I always do because guys, it's got this metal tip applicator. I don't know if you can see it. So what that does is once you put that in the fridge, if you ever wake up and you are super dehydrated or you're super puffy, you can just really take this tip and almost give yourself like a lymphatic drainage oh, massage and you can so just use that to work it into the skin. And it's so amazing. So that's such a good tip. Mine literally lives in the skin and like, I'll be doing my skincare in my room and then I'm like, oh, I've got to quickly run. Run to the fridge. <laughs> yeah. Like a mini fridge in your makeup in room. In my room, right? <laughs> to keep everything nice and chilled. So it's next so we are going to be moving on to, I think she needs no introductions, whatever. Like, obsessed. I mean, I can see how obsessed yours with No, yours. I've got the big, big, big one. <laughs> I like <laughs> wrench myself. Yeah, I know. I'm literally like, I've got a new one because I just ran out. And I love this so much, guys. This has got four times more hydration than hyaluronic acid because it's got an ingredient in there called polyglutamic acid that literally just hydrates you so well. Oh, it's got golden vitamin C, so it's also going to brighten your skin. And the texture is literally like nothing I've ever felt before. Sometimes don't you find grace, like with serums, they can be a bit like, really gel like like really like you could just feel the texture sitting you on your skin feel them on the skin whereas this I can't describe the feeling but you almost want to press it in until you get that kind of tacky mm. feeling don't you and for me with being really dry I think we've got quite different skin haven't we yeah but, I'm so oily yeah but we can both use it because of the amazing ingredients it just filters to where it needs but for me it's like giving my skin I feel like I've had a drink of water when yep. I put it on it like quenches my thirst and hydrates my skin I love that so yeah, much and it makes my makeup last so much longer I feel like this is definitely one of my favorite 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 product like I can't go a day without it or a night I have yeah. to use it every day and like, guys, I don't even have any moisturizer. I don't have my magic cream on yet. This is what I love about our skincare. And I mean, you could just see that glow. It's literally giving you like dolphin glass skin. And that's what I'm just so obsessed with. Like I could start here and then I can just go on. So I can see Kelly in the comments asking, so you cleanse, you tone, and then you go into your moisturizers. Or Charlotte always says like, you kind of, you got to do your serum, you got to do your eye serum. And you always want to make sure you finish off with something with an SPF. So now we are going on to another iconic, another viral, the magic cream. If you do not have this, run. You've been living under a rock. rock. <laughs> exactly. You've been living under a rock. You need this in your life because honestly, it will change your life. The texture, like honestly, no. like, obsessed. I can talk about magic cream for the whole month. All and like we started, and no one really knows that, do they? That like we actually started as a skincare brand. Like this was the first product we brought out because it is the number one. It's just so, so, so amazing, especially for us. Like doing makeup on so many different people. Like we can put this on anyone, yeah. anyone. And I mean, you know what I love about this is you think about like all of the things, especially coming from award season. There was the oscars and then there was the baftas and then there was like you know the tonys and there was so much and you have all of these celebrities and all of these models who are literally just their skin is kind of jet lagged and it's yearning yeah, and you just tired. put this on them and it's like instant immediate yeah. skin revival your skin will just perform it will welcome makeup and you've just got like honestly you guys the glow for me i'm just like yeah, it's the hydration. And I always think if I'm doing someone's makeup and their skin is ready and hydrated, like yeah. I know I'm going to do a good makeup yeah. because yeah. the skin's ready. And it just gives you that perfect glow and the amazing vitamins and the anti-aging in it as well. It's, it's just, just so, so beautiful. Like, honestly, guys, you could, this is me. This is my every single day <laughs> routine that I do. And this is something that I do on all of my clients, any celebrities that I get to work with. This is something I think we all do. You know, we do it on Jordan Dunn and Michaela, Lily James. 
Every, every, month, every single person goes through this exact routine because it's just instant, immediate skin revival. Okay, let's move on to makeup and some base. So starting off to create that gorgeous, seamless, beautiful Oscar base, I am going to be using the Beautiful Skin Foundation in the shade 13 Warm. Grace, what will I'm you- going to be using, because as you can see, I like to, I never really wear any kind of tan on my face. It's just my chest that I'm a bit warmer. So mm -hmm. I like to match up to my neck. So I'm going to actually be using the five neutral and the beautiful oh, no. skin, um, okay. which I love. So what I like to do is I like to take my, um, this is our gorgeous, beautiful skin. It's actually a bronzing brush, but recently I've been really loving using this to buff my foundation in because I oh, wow. find it gives you just such like look how easy that goes on and it gives you such an easy flawless and it does your it's like literally like a beauty blending like brush it. and it literally I'm does just, your base uh, in two seconds like it literally does your whole entire face but you're able just to buff this on so so quickly and I'm just starting in the middle of my face and then I'm just bringing this out. And this just gives you really easy, really flawless. Look at that. I and love that as well. Like if you don't want a lot of coverage, you could just buff exactly. that one. I'm using the Magic Complexion Brush. I absolutely love this brush. For me, I get really, really pink skin and quite red around my mouth. So I like to pack on a little bit more coverage <laughs> where needed. <laughs> See, that's me and my concealer. Once I get onto concealer, I'm like, whack it on, whack it on, whack it on. But oh. what I love about this foundation is the fact that it is so versatile. Oh, I just need a little mirror. It's so versatile that you can, you know, choose to either wear it kind of a medium to full coverage or you can choose to really share it out, guys. But what's really great about this foundation is the fact that your skin gets better every single wow, time that you wear this foundation it literally gives you the most beautiful and most radiant skin of your life so I I'm think as well like I genuinely feel like I'm just wearing skincare when I wear this foundation I don't feel right? let's forget I'm wearing full glam and I get such like it does what it says on the tin doesn't it like beautiful skin like you get that perfect canvas but you don't look like you've got a lot of makeup on so people do say oh my god your skin's gorgeous when really it's this foundation you it's don't so realize that you've got you know foundation on no I completely know what you mean so I'm literally just trying to achieve most coverage like you I get a really red nose and I always tend to get like you know this area which is a bit more red so this is the area where I will try and just focus a bit more coverage on. I think that's a really good tip. I think as a makeup artist, I see that a lot of people put the same amount of foundation everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And then you don't look um, as natural then. So what we do on red carpets and things is just apply the makeup really where it's needed and then just buff it in areas where it's not. Like um, I don't really wear a lot on my forehead and things like that because it I've yeah. got quite a dry texture. You don't need forehead. it, yeah, yeah. You don't need yeah. it, do you? So just take little bits at a time, and then you'll use less product as well. Then, guys. Okay, so now I'm actually I know, you know, you'd move on to like your concealer now, but this is what I did on MJ. I kind of did my foundation. Then I'm going to move on to using my um, beautiful skin bronzer, but I'm actually going to use this more as a contour. So I really wanted to achieve that super sculpted, chiseled face, kind of underpainting on her. So rather than going on with my concealer next, which you'll probably do, Grace, I'm actually going to show you how I use my beautiful skin bronzer to really contour and achieve kind of, you know, beautiful sculpted skin. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to go in with my Hollywood complexion brush, like so. And then I'm going to start to just buff this along my jawline. And can you see, guys, I'm almost stippling this in. I'm not really swiping because I don't want to move it. So I'm just kind of creating this gorgeous but also easy contour just along my jawline. Grace, what Hello. shape that you product, like beautiful skin bronzer. I even just wear it when I don't wear makeup. Because I always wear a bit of tan. I just put my serum and magic cream on and then buff the bronzer. Because I also feels like it gives you a bit of coverage because it just yeah. blends, looks so seamless. I've actually gone in with the beautiful skin concealer. For me, I have very, very dry under eyes, quite textured. I've never found anything that didn't crease before. 
this is my holy grail. Like I could just wear this on its own because of how bouncy it is. So I'm wearing the Beautiful Skin uh, Concealer in shade five. The reason I've done that for now, I'm not gone too light. I've just kind of want to go a little bit lighter than my foundation color. And our concealers do run slightly lighter than the foundations. Um, so for now, I'm just letting it bake under my eyes a bit and I'm going to rub it in everywhere else where I need it. I've just done a little bit underneath my cheekbone and then I'm going to move on to contour. But I like to leave it under my eyes for a little bit just to warm so up. let it settle, yeah. That's yeah. such a good trick. And then when you do that as well, what I find it does, it almost allows your concealer to tack a bit, which gives you really great coverage. Yeah. So, and I think I love the way Charlotte's designed the foundation. So, you know, you wear a five um, neutral foundation and you would use a five, but that would or, or like originally be your brightening shade. So you yeah. have to go Perfect. one shade lower. You'll just get the shade that matches your, your foundation. And that would be the shade that would brighten your skin. So now I'm literally just using the other end of my brush of my Hollywood brush. And I'm just kind of contouring my nose. And I find when I do this step first, it makes contouring seem less scary and kind of like oh less visible because then I can climb in with my concealer and almost erase any marks or like any really extremely visible um you know contour that you can see so then I'm just taking the other side and just really making sure I blend this out till it's a bit visible but it's not as strong as it is it's kind of just given the illusion of a contour so can you see that it's like instantly oh, okay lifting my cheekbones sculpting me and then now when I go in with my concealer it's literally just going to balance everything together so I'm going to be using the same concealer as Grace but I'm going to be using it in the shade 12 because unlike Grace I like to go super light and bright <laughs> it's back in the early 2000s where you know we had really bright under eyes but honestly especially on deeper skin tones really tan yeah. skin I think sometimes that kind of radiance underneath the eyes Add is so light. nice. So I'm literally just going to go, I know it looks bright right now, but it will kind of settle. I'm not that crazy to go that light. So this is the shade 12 and I'm literally just popping this underneath my eyes. So I'm going to move on to contouring now. I'm actually using the good old Hollywood contour wand, which is a savior for me. I absolutely love this product and how easy it blends as well. And I'm going to take it quite high on my cheekbone. The reason I like to do that is to really lift my face. And when I was doing my concealer as well, because I've used a tiny bit of a lighter color, I use it to almost slim my nose down a bit. So mm. I took the concealer quite far into my nose, and then I'm going to add that into my nose contour. But these, I'll show you how easy these blend. They can look quite scary, can't they? A bit petrifying. But once you blend them in, they're amazing. I think they've gone so viral. Like oh, you can't get hold of them for ages. You can't get hold of them. They're literally the most viral thing you'll ever see, guys. But guys, look how easily that concealer blends into my skin. But it's literally just lifting and brightening. Grace, that blends out so easily and so beautiful on you. Good. It's it's just done. And I think it is all that prep underneath as well, guys. If you didn't have that prep of all your skincare and your magic cream, like it just works so well together. But I love this brush, the Hollywood Complexion brush. I use it for my it's concealer. It's my favorite brush underneath oh, the, under the side. It's a great oh. handbag brush. When you look at yourself throughout the day, you're like, <clears throat> sometimes I even have product left on it and I'll just give my skin a little buff over. My favorite place to contour on myself is my jawline. I feel like when I do that, I really get that kind of Hollywood red carpet look where it really slims the jawline down for myself. Gorgeous. Then, what, shade in the, what shade is it that you're using in the... Um, this is just the fair to medium. Okay, so you actually use the fair to medium. You don't use the medium deep. I use the medium deep usually. That's what I use. I love how much stretch those products have got in it. So you could even, because for example, Charlotte wears the medium deep. And I also wear it. So I love the fact oh, that- Oh, yeah, you, you can. I mean, on a Friday and a Saturday when I'm a little bit more turned up, I'll be going <laughs> deep. But for now, because um, I'm going to go for quite a subtle contour, and I'm going to do all about the highlighter later on. And I'll show you, you can keep building this product and it's not going to go patchy. Okay, gorge. So now we are, well, basically about to set. 
And this is kind of the gorgeous, you've got this really dewy, beautiful, glowy skin. And just to set this in the right places, I'm just going to take my favorite thing, guys. I know we're probably going to say this a lot. I know it's going to sound like, you know, we're like pulling your legs when we say all of these things are favorites, but honestly, they are. And this is one thing I do not think I will cease to exist if this product was ever sold out or if Charlotte just said I'd stop doing it, which I don't think she will because it's no, so, never. It's she so can't. iconic. Boycott. <laughs> right? It's the airbrush powder, guys. I am like this has changed my life the day I discovered this was the best <laughs> day of my oh, life my. honestly it was so <laughs> incredible I was like I've not been living my makeup dreams till this moment because it's that incredible I know I sound like a crazy person but you will see what I mean so I'm a super super oily girl right right yeah. you're yeah, saying they love this powder let us know if you love, love the powder in the so chat much. I'm a super, super oily girl, right? Like I powder every 10 minutes. It's kind of like my addiction. And this powder allows me to do that because it never leaves you looking cakey, dusty, flaky. It doesn't matter if you're grace and you're a bit more on the dry side or if you're like me and you're super oily. And I always like feel like it's magic. It's almost like my little magic cream when I like my magic trick when I show people this. So you can see how oily I am here, right? And kind of how glowy you can see all of my pores. Look what happens when I just press a bit of that powder in, guys. It's literally like magic takes place. Oh, it is. Look at the difference in the two sides. And Where guys, has that gone? You still get glowy and radiant, can't you? Because I'm all about the glow. Like, I'm really, really dry. Little fun fact, I actually never wore setting powder before I worked for Charlotte. Like, I just never agreed with one. It looked really cakey under my eyes. But this, whatever you can see, it actually makes you look airbrushed just airbrushes you out completely like look look at that honestly it's like bye bye pause bye yeah, bye yeah. texture, texture. And guys, you can apply and apply and apply <laughs> and I promise you, know you you love to do that collection oh you know like How honestly like me and Sophia Tilbury whenever like usually if this was me and Sophia right now Grace it would be a competition of I'm who's like, gonna put the powder on first <laughs> We are like, I look at her and I'm like, why is she still powdering? And I'm like, that means I need more powder. And we just go back and forth doing that. But it's because honestly, guys, you can just do that and it will never leave your skin feeling like, oh, that powder really, really cakey effect. It's so, so finely milled. It honestly just feels like like silk, like cashmere. It's, it is the most beautiful powder. And every time I've ever worked with a makeup artist, everyone has this in their kit. Right. Most people have used it. If they haven't, I'm like, why aren't you using it? And it just helps your makeup stay on a lot longer as well. Like I'm one to touch my face quite a lot because I get quite sensitive and quite itchy. And it just doesn't come off because I've set it. But as you can see, I've got a patch of X here. It actually <laughs> smooths over it. Like it doesn't make it look. I just love how you're going on and I'm still here. Just out. <laughs> Just put your face in it. Literally, I'm like, just dunk your face in it. Oh, I'm like, I need to go to like, I don't know, a class. Hi, I'm Kelechi and I'm addicted to airbrush I'm addicted. powder. Because <laughs> I'm literally like, I just can't stop. I just can't. It's just Making so Making me go more and I don't even normally wear that much. I told you, up. you can't help it. Okay. Okay, I'm so, stopping. I've put the powder down. I've put it down. <laughs> So now I'm going to move on and I'm actually just going to set my contour in place with the airbrush bronzer before we move on to eyes really quickly. So I'm just going to take a bit of my airbrush bronzer and I'm just going to set all of that where we kind of cream contoured. And guys, you can see, I first of all start by kind of stippling. And I do this motion first because sometimes when you start off and you drag, it might create like a hole in your makeup or it might create like, yeah. you know, a dent of separating. So what you want to first do is you want to quickly just a few pats, make sure you've set it and then you can gently start to buff like Grace is doing. So you set like that and then you want to make sure you buff. So then that means you're not going to upset any of that gorgeous makeup you've applied underneath. And it's just going to give you exactly and behave the way that you want it to behave. I think as well, like whenever you watch a makeup artist do makeup, they hold the brush really, really light with pressure. And that's one thing I notice when I watch like some other people do makeup, like my poor mum, I always embarrass her every time I do a mask class. But she holds it sometimes really close at the front <laughs> uh, and then you can apply too much pressure 
and then you get that kind of patch and it could go a bit muddy. So really, really light oh, when you put it on top. She said, oh, I always embarrass her. So little, I just, can I do makeup? And you really can't. <laughs> like, I know, happened? I'm like, how did you give birth to me? My mum uses <laughs> the same eyebrow pencil that she uses on her eyes and she uses it as the lip liner. And I'm like, okay, I get this as multi-tabble. You have a daughter who works for Charlotte Tilbury. Please do not put me to shame because my boss yeah. will kill me. Yeah. But, you know, that's just what our parents do. But every single time I ever teach her something, she's like, oh my God, this has changed my life. Okay, cool. Are we ready to move on to eyes or should we do a quick soft brow? I'm just going to use yeah. a bit of the legendary gel in my brow just to kind of brush it up and just to make them natural. Guys, this is one product I use in my brows. So your brows are honestly phenomenal. So little old me who went wild in the 90s with the old shaver, um, tweezed them off, shaved them off. I have quite a lot of gaps in mine and I do tint them. So I'm using the Brow Cheat in natural brown. I love this color. It's like a nice ashy tone. So it quite matches my root. And I'm just going to draw on hair by hair. And I just feel like with this, I can actually draw on the brow of my dreams without looking like I've got any product on at all. It's so, so amazing. And I love to, to straighten and elongate my brow to add a little bit more um, space to my eyeshadow here. And then I'll go in with my legendary brows that you're using after. But I just need to a little bit more love on my brows. I don't know if you can see as I'm applying. Just because they're quite oh, they I love that pencil. So amazing. And I feel like when you do a brow, it it frames your face. Like, can you see from this side to this side how much it's lifted my face as well? So just tiny little strokes. And then a good tip is to keep brushing through because that way you're not going to see where the product starts and stops. It's going to look really light and textured. You get that nice rut, like red carpet ready like brow. Really fluffy, that Charlotte Tilbury supermodel brow. That's what yeah. you're going to see by kind of doing that technique. I'm just using the legendary brow. And I'm quite similar to you. I just, you know, I'm quite in a fresh tint. So it looks like I have a lot of brows, but I have nothing. Oh. So I love this because I love my legendary brow because what this does, it's got this really fine tip. I don't know if you guys can see, it's also colored. So this creates textures because it has all these little tiny fibers in it. So I just use this and I use the tip sometimes and where I don't have a lot of hair, I just kind of stab at it and those fibers cling to my skin and it just gives you the illusion that you've got something going on there. So <laughs> usually day to day, I do this, I do my lip liner, you know, and I do my lip oil and I'm out the door. That's the one thing that I'm like, you have brows on and you have a bit of a lip on. Oh, I can't answer my door to the postman if I don't have my brows on. I'm like, I have <laughs> to have my brows on or else I feel like a little thumb. I just think it adds so much. But I also don't want it to be like, oh my God, it's just about the brow. Because of this makeup look, you want it to be really soft and just keep brushing them out so they don't look overfilled either. And I feel like these two products are just perfect for that, aren't they? They are so perfect. And guys, we do them in such an array of colors. We've got like eight different colors ranging from like fair blonde to like natural black. And then we do the gels in four different colors again from like quite fair to natural black. And they're just the best thing for giving you that really fluffy, um, you know, kind of Instagram like viral brow at the moment. Yeah, just like that lifted. Oh, she's going again. She's I know, I, told you, I, mean, I just, it's just, it's my favorite thing. Don't judge me, okay guys? We all have those things we can't put down. Mine is powder, yeah? <laughs> Mine's <Okay>. Hitler. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to move on to eyes. It's time to get into the colour section section of our masterclass. Oh, my God, we're going to be using the same eyeshadow palette. I love this palette so much. It's literally so versatile. No, this I actually is... need to stop using this palette. Yeah, it's... I can't. <laughs> I cannot do makeup without this palette. <laughs> It it's doesn't matter okay. the look that I'm using because I'm like, I see this palette as like my primary colors, you know? Like, yeah. you know, when you have primary colors when you're painting, you can't do a painting without it. Super Needs palette is my primary colors because I know I'm going to create oh, gorgeous sculpts. I'm going to create gorgeous definition and then every other thing that I have on will come on after. So it doesn't matter who this is. You know, I do this on Jordan. I do this on Maya Jammer. I do this on MJ. It doesn't matter who it is. I this palette will be on them. 
it's yeah. literally my holy grail. And the looks that we're doing were so different, but we're both using the same palette. Exactly. So it's just so, so versatile. And I can use it on anyone. I use it on a lot of brides as well, because it's just got those perfect tones that suit every like complexion and eye color. Okay. Gorgeous. So what look are you going to be doing? What's your look? What, what are you going to be using in the palette? I'm, so gonna I'm be- using more of the um, cooler tones. The- okay. I'm yeah. using the first three, which are the warmer tones. So you get to see how the palette performs on both different skin tones. So I'm just going into my second color, first of all. And I'm going to wipe this all over my eye. I love these guys. They're the most buttery matte shades you will ever use. They just glide on like a dream. So I'm literally just gliding this all around my eye. I created the most easiest look on MJ Rodriguez and I was so 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 obsessed with Lily James's look as well oh. that one creator for the Oscars I but, think the palette as well the reason I love it because I've got quite pink eyelids can you see how that neutralizes my eyes and how mm. much bigger that one looks so I like to use it's kind of a bone shade and like uh, Kletchi said they blend you don't even have to do anything like they blend don't so even easy. need a base with this eyeshadow palette you it's so straight. amazing and we're both just starting off with the blending brush. We only sell two eyeshadow brushes at Charlotte Silver, which is, it's all you need. It's so, so easy to do. And then that way, you all your colours will blend in together. But this is the blending brush, just to kind of apply really softly that base colour all over my lid. So I'm going on while we're blending, while you're still blending the top. I'm going on with the same colour underneath my eyes. Because whatever you do on top, you want to make sure you do on the bottom to balance. Because you need that balance. And I'm just using that just to sculpt the underneath of my eyes, like so. And you can even just stop there. That's a gorgeous look on its own. So nice. It's so pretty. Next, I'm going to go into the darkest shade, which is this brown. And I'm going to use this to create almost like a halo eye, which is what we did on Michaela J. So I'm just going to go into this outer corner here. I'm just taking this second color. So they kind of have different looks. So this is one, two, and three, and one, two, and three. So this is the first shade that I've got all over. And I'm just using this second shade just to kind of contour the socket of my eye now and give the appearance of like a bigger, more almond-shaped eye. Good, good, good. Going backwards and forwards, and you can see the difference in my two eyes now. I'm creating more of like an elongated, winged, lifted eye, uh, like Lily James had. Stunning. So when you look in the mirror, I think when I watch a lot of people do eyeshadow, they close their eyes. But as you can see, me and Kletchi, we do most of it with, with our eyes open, so we know exactly where we're placing the product. Really light with your pressure as well, just going backwards and forwards like that. And you don't have to do all this crazy blending. You don't have to use so many different transitional colors and brushes. Their palette just does all the work for you. And even if you feel like, guys, maybe you have a bit of a hooded eye or you've got quite small eyes, what I sometimes do is just place your mirror a bit down. What that does is that elongates and stretches your eye. So you don't have to like close your eye and then like one eye is a bit like, you know, all crease. If you just look down like that, you can still get a gorgeous blend and you can just go backwards and forwards. And like Grace said earlier, remember to keep that brush quite loose in your hand. You can see how yeah. loose that is in my hand. The looser it is in the hand, the easier it's going to be for you to blend, especially when you want to get that gorgeous, beautiful transition. I'm barely touching my eyes and then I'm just going to pull that out. And that's going to give you that really seamless blend all the way up to your eye. So I've just done one eye because there is a myth, isn't there? Like, oh, if you put eyeshadow underneath your eye, it can make your eye look smaller. But just have a look at my one eye now. It's like if you was to put a picture on the wall, by framing it, it makes it look bigger. So by framing your full eye, you don't have to go really dark. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. It just pop, makes it pop, doesn't it? Pop, but the yeah. myth, isn't there? There's different yeah. people saying things that you shouldn't do. Makeup's fun, guys. If you do something and you realize, oh, I don't like that on myself, you can just take it off. I agree. So, okay. And I'm just using the smudge brush now underneath my eye. This brush has been laser cut 
just to put the perfect amount of eyeshadow under your eye. So you're not going to go too low either. I feel like these two brushes are just really, really vital when you're maybe side off with eyeshadow as well and you're not as confident. You don't need loads of different eyeshadow brushes, guys. These do all the That's hard what makes it complicated, right? Well, it's Doesn't like, oh, which one do I use? Where do I go from here? And no, it's like... It's too much it's sometimes, too isn't it? It's all too complicated. And then you kind of get a bit lost because you don't know what to do with... And your fingers are fine to use. Your fingers are fine to use. That's I such... love using my fingers just to the blend. The product I'm going to go on to using is something that I always do with my fingers as well. So I'm just I blending the darker colours out. Having, and just like I've got a in. cat and she's having a filled day because she almost can sense that I can't like tell her off or anything. And when I mean she's having a filled day just in the background and like, Either she's trying to get my attention or something, but I'm like, oh, 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 oh you wait. <laughs> she's like, just go in. She was on the sofa. She was just on the table. All the things she never does. I'm like, you're just being so cheeky because you know, I'm like, so I'm, like she gets I'm on this live thing that I can't say anything. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, she's here she goes. She's so love hilarious. Her. Love her. She's such a drama queen. She's like her mom, basically. We're the same. Okay. Perfect. So now I'm creating, I've created this really soft, um, smoky eye. You know, this would be really gorgeous for your evenings, for your date nights. You know, summer evenings are coming up. And to kind oh, of just make it. <laughs> but not in Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, right. Don't get ahead of yourself. And just to make it kind of pop a bit more, I'm going to go in with our Ice to Mesmerize. I love these pots so much. I feel like these like unsung heroes people do not realize how easy and how quick it is for you just to go oh just not to my low tone in town how easy it is for you just to go into this right Jill I can see saying love isomers I'm obsessed with these go straight into them onto the eye one swipe you're out the door bit of mascara done Charlotte I just don't understand how they don't crease right every my shadow I've used they go all creasy and in my lines of my eyes but these they just smooth over and the vitamin E, they feel really cooling, don't they? When you put them They're on and so I've got great. quite sensitive eyelids, but I love these. They're amazing. Charlotte always calls it wing mirror makeup. And I just feel like that's the best way to describe it because it is literally just that. So I'm just creating this spotlight in the center of my eye where I've created that definition here and here with this gorgeous shade. So I'm literally just bringing this with my smudger brush just in the center to create that kind of keyhole um, halo spotlight effect. And then I'm just gonna repeat the same thing underneath. And it just gives you literally the easiest smoky eye. Your eyes you know, look like two different in the shapes. chocolate bronze, right? Look at us. Look, but they literally look like two different shapes. It's, it's so, so stunning on you, but what I love about it on you is like it makes your eyes that bone color makes your eyes look so insanely blue and icy. It's insane. Do you know what? I never actually wore a lot of cool tones before this palette. I always stuck to the warmer tones because you've got blue really? eyes you want to use. But actually, these kind of cool tones, it is that icy kind of color, and I love, and I love using the black in this for my eyeliner as well. I'm going to go over with the feline flick, but for me, I just think with the this little eyeliner brush, actually creating the eyeliner shape with the eyeshadow first sets me up for success. I'm never oh, going to have a stressful day with my eyeliner if I just kind of guide it first with my eyeshadow. I love and that. It's kind of like you're any. sketching it out. Sketching it out, and I feel like that's great to do if you have hooded eyes, because if you're going in with liner, sometimes your skin might meet here, and you might not be able to get a really smooth line. But if you do it with your eyeshadow, you can really get in all little nooks and crannies <laughs> of your eyes. And you're nestling it into your lashes, aren't you? Right. In. And it's creating a tight line in between your lashes with that eyeshadow so it just kind of gives you more definition and more intensity at the base of your lashes yeah. okay so now while you finish that off I'm going to go in with a bit of mascara just to intensify my eyes a bit more and I'm going to be using the pillow talk mascara 
So I'm literally just going to take this. I'm obsessed with this mascara, guys. It's the most jet black, the most kind of super black mascara on the planet. And you always want to do a black mascara, whether you've got, you know, brown eyeshadow or brown eyeliner. You want to make sure you finish off with a black mascara because that's going to give you the intensity, especially if you're going out on a red carpet, you know, at any event, you need that intensity in your eyes. So I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to nestle this in the roots of my lashes and just start to kind of paint every single lash and this is just gonna give me intensity to the lash and just kind of add more smolder to my eyes okay gorgeous and what I love about this you just kind of turn this brush vertically like so and you're able to kind of use it as like a little paintbrush and grab every single one of those hairs and again if you need to get because I know sometimes you know we find that mascara travels and touches the top if you do it like this it will again if you go into your stretch I've got some lashes on but if you go into your stretch and you kind of hold your mirror down so you're looking here it's going to stretch your eyes open and what that's going to do is that's going to like allow it you know stop it from kind of transferring up above so now you're going to see it on someone with not very good lashes. <laughs> Honestly, this mascara for me, it's like you don't need to curl your lashes. It does it for you. It like, I think the application, I remember when I first got this mascara collection, I didn't read the box. We got it in lockdown, didn't we? Yeah. And I just threw the box in the bin and I was applying it and I was like, why am I not, my lashes not going as good as everybody else's on Instagram. And then I seen like the application of how, to really nestle that flat bit right at the root. And it is all in the application of the brush as well. The brush and the product work so well together. It makes me look like I've got false eyelashes on because it builds all the products right at the root. But then because of the comb, you don't get any clumps. It brushes them out and you get every single eyelash. Eyelashes that you didn't know you had. That existed, right? Yes. You're able just to kind of, it's got this reservoir which you're able to kind of nestle into your lashes and deposit products on the lashes and then comb it through. So it almost kind of does a tight line for you as well as yes. giving you mascara all at once. Okay. And I never thought I'd meet someone who is a more obsessed with mascara than me, but obviously Charlotte is so obsessed. Charlotte is mascara <laughs> obsessed. Charlotte is literally like, whenever I do- Charlotte's like you with powder. <laughs> when, yeah, whenever I do Charlotte's makeup, I go to put mascara and she's like, no, no, darling, just give it to me. And I'm like, yeah, I, I don't even know why I try. And no. she's she like lashings and lashings and lashings of mascara. And then I'm like, do you know what? I understand it. So now on everyone, I'm like, no, more mascara. You need more oh. mascara. When you do, you actually see the intensity. So now I'm going to put one. on. Pardon? I'll be putting more on again at yeah. the end. Don't you worry about it. I'll keep going. You're going to keep going. Okay, so yeah, now look. look at the difference. But I mean, babe, you've got the most stunning eyes I have ever seen. But what? it's the makeup enhances. When there's no makeup, so they're like... <laughs> and then so when you the makeup on, it is... But it is just like naturally really beautifully enhancing people's features, isn't it? Charlotte Tilbury, it's not like masking anything and everything just makes you look like you on a really good day that's why I love the makeup so much and again this mascara is really good for your lashes it's not so good at conditioning the lashes right the keratin really strengthens your eyelashes as well so if you're someone who has like LVLs or maybe you have like lashes put on every now and again it's good to have a break and use this mascara because of the keratin and it's really really good to strengthen your lashes Okay, so I'm just moving on to doing my lip and then we're going to finish off with some cheeks. I'm using my favourite lip liner in the world. This is the Foxy Brown Lip Liner. Again, something that I put on everyone. I kind of call this contour for the lips in this shade because it just gives you like beautifully contoured lips, guys. And you can kind of use this to overline and it just gives you the illusion of a lip lift. And I'm going to show you guys a trick on how to get really stunning and natural contoured lips. So what you want to do, this is Charlotte's kind of sweetheart shape. You want to slightly overline in the center. And guys, this is just a thing of choice. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but if you kind of want to see what you'd look like with maybe a bit more fuller lips or just kind of more defined lips, because sometimes 
our lips are not like sit like they're not linear they're not yeah. they're not symmetrical so it's good to kind of even it out using the lip cheat and this has got most incredible staying power oh it's the last thing on my face. it what doesn't move <laughs> All night, chuck this on. Even if your lipstick disappears, this will always stay there. So you want to go in the middle like so, outlining your lips just in the middle here. And then I always like to say, when you get to the end of your nostril, if that makes sense, the end of your nose, gently start to gradiate that back into your natural lip line. So you've only got this section here of actually overlining your lip. So you go- it's like you're having a lip flip. Exactly. You don't need to have a lip flip because we'll do it for you. I'm using Pillow Talk lip liner, which obviously is just, I feel like everyone knows what Pillow Talk is. And it's kind of like just a little bit more enhanced than my lip shape, my, my lip color. And that's why I love Pillow Talk so much because I can overdraw my lips quite a bit, which I like to do, but it, I, it doesn't look like I've done so. So you can see from the two sides, like Fletcher said, keeping the sides really tight, if you overdraw the side of your lip, it can look quite sad and unnatural. So keeping the sides really, really tight. And it's just that middle bit, isn't it? For that perfect pouty, like heart-shaped lip. And then now I'm going to go on with the lipstick. It's one of my favorite lipsticks. And I think I always cheat because, again, I put on every single person. So this is Angel Alessandra. She's like a really peachy nude in our Hot Lips collection. And I'm just going to press this into the center of my lips. So I think I'm gonna go for more of a glossy lip and you're probably okay. gonna go for maybe a bit more of a matte lip. I'm going for more of a matte lip, yes. Um, I'm just gonna go for pillow talk again because I love it so much and I know it just suits me. And I think because of the cool kind of tones on my eyes, I've not gone too warm. I've gone for the, the Lily James look. That's what she wore, that like really cool tone. Um, pink kind of fresh it's like a rosy pink lip it's not too much um but I'm quite bougie I do like to use my lip brush collection <laughs> she's like mm -mm, I'm not no regular girl see what I love about these is though it's because they're shaped like our lip brushes it's yeah. got kind of you know that square tip precision bullet where you could kind of just cheat your way so you go ahead and be bougie girl I ain't gonna judge you and mind. then I'm just going to finish off my lip with the collagen lip bath in Refresh Rose. Um, if you know me, I mean, not that any of you do, but I'm just going to... What do you do now? I'm a lip gloss girl and I lather it on. And this lip gloss for me, I love it so much because it's non-sticky. You know, it doesn't kind of like transfer. It doesn't leave you, you know, with that lip gloss where you're like, like oh, it's really oily. It's just such a gentle and comforting lip gloss to wear i'm just gonna apply that all over like so oh my god look at us coming together to go to oh, bed look at that. so i'm look gonna go mine quite a matte because i want quite like a, a matte classic look i am just gonna go over with a little bit more powder as you can see sometimes your um face warms up a bit and i'm just gonna go i feel like the main places you really want to powder is like right in the center of your brow around the sides of your nose you can keep here like nice and glowy but i feel like right in the center just gives that really airbrush look and if i was going on a night out like i'd want to put quite a bit of this on to make sure it's lasting but you'll find out i'm going to do my blusher next you can powder your face and still use our cream products because this powder is so fine you can still go on with um cream products on after so I'm gonna now use I like we like to do our lips first don't we before blush because how much blush you need when you do it this way once you have your eyes and lips done as you can see I just went in and buffed a bit more bronzering because I'm like actually I can do with a bit more sculpting but once yeah. you have your eyes and your lips done you can kind of gauge how much bronzer you I mean how much blusher you'll need my look on MJ actually did we didn't use blusher we kept it just nice and sculpted what we did use is the um, stunning air Hollywood wow. Glow Glide Facial Architecture <laughs> Everything Highlighter. Like I said it. So this is what we did use. And this kind of gives you gorgeous glow, gilded glow. So this is just what I'm going to use um, on the high. I've just used the Pillow Top Beauty Blush Wand. 
these are obviously have been like a viral TikTok sensation. Like I'm sure you've heard of Pink Gasm and Peach Gasm and the Spotlight ones. This is um, the Pillow Talk shade. So it's going to go perfectly with my lip. And I love that look when your blusher matches your lipstick. It's like really uniform. And this is what Hung um, Bango used on Lily. And it's just given that really pretty, like feminine, blushed, rosy look. I love blusher. I always do a little bit on my nose as well. I feel like it went for a bit, didn't it, blusher? Like it just went and now it's back. It's back and blush is getting bigger and higher and more is more. The more is it more. It almost gives that like, oh, I've just been in the sun for a few hours kind of look, the pillow talk. And you can use a little bit on the lip as well because the staying power is great. So I've done the pillow talk lipstick where it's quite nice. Just to look, buff a little bit on. So this is just the pillow talk blush wand. In shade pillow talk. There is Five. other shades, but... I've gone for the pillow top today. So stunning. So I'm using the Glow Glide highlighter in bronze gold. This comes in seven gorgeous shades, guys. And you can just see it literally just drips candlelight onto your skin. And it just gives you that gorgeous kind of like you've got a liquid on, but actually, you know, oh. it's powder. And it just gives you that really gorgeous glow. And then you could literally pop a bit. Stella likes to call this like her exclamation mark. So you could just do a bit down the nose, skip a little bit and then do a little dot. And that's just going to lift your nose and kind of give you that gorgeous nose architecture. And then what I like to do with this as well is also take some of this and put this onto my eyes like so. And that's just going to make it ping and just make it stand out. Ping. Feel for me because of my eye shape, when I do this, when I put the inner corner highlight, it makes such a difference and really opens my eye up. Mm -hmm. And I like to use my finger a little bit just on my nose to give that. It's just to like kind of blend it out, right? Little tip. Little tip, little tip. Little Look at no Oscar's ready. I'm literally sat with my pajama bottoms on. <laughs> And there's no one home. I'm like, and there's no one home. Only sees me. To finish look. our look, and this <laughs> is something that we used everyone all award season. Because one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to do all of that gorgeous makeup, and then it melts away no. or it goes away. You want to lock it in using the airbrush from uh, airbrush. Oh, jeez, I can't get my words out. Airbrush flawless setting spray. I've got the little cute mini. I always have this in my handbag. No right. I always keep that. That's something I give to all of my girlfriends and every single person. And you can remove the and you can just refill them, right? Sustainable as well. Okay. So ready to, to kind of seal it off. Eyes closed. And be generous. The key oh. to this, guys, is to be generous. Don't just do like one, two spray. You can see we douse our faces in it because that's what's really going to lock it in and keep it in. But guys, thank you so much. We've come to thank the end you. of our gorgeous Oscars award season party makeup. Thank you guys for joining. Great. Thank you, you so look much. So stunning. You look obsessed with your face. Amazing. That glow, that highlight has just gone popping. <laughs> popping. Thank you all for joining <laughs> us. Hope you have an thank amazing you. evening. See you soon. Bye, guys. Yeah.